Hey, what's going on social media? I'm Steve Ludwig, also known as Mr. Insurance. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about a question that I get asked a lot. Uh, it's, does my car insurance cover me for a break-in or a theft? <clears throat> well, that all really depends. So the first thing is, is what kind of coverage do you have? Do you have just liability only, which is uh, only going to cover the other person that you essentially were in an accident with or you know something to that effect, it covers the liability for the other person or do you have full coverage, collision and comprehensive? So you would be actually on the whole break-in aspect of it would be covered under a comprehensive. Uh, comprehensive is going to be anything other than collision and uh, as you know, there's been a, you know, a lot of the break-ins with, especially with the, the Kias and the Dodge and the Hyundais and everything. And so, um, you know, it's an important thing that people ask me. Um, the other thing is, is, you know, well, what's covered in the break-in? You know, say you have your, uh, your MacBook in the back seat and that's how you make your living is on that computer. Um, most comprehensive policies, they are not going to cover that or at least cover it in full. It'd be a much uh, more reduced type of a, of a payout. Um, that is usually covered under a homeowner's insurance or a, a renter's insurance policy. And that's going to be for obviously for theft. Uh, that's where you would get into more things, but you would have to pay additional deductibles and things to, you know, to get your car fixed. Um, so from the person that actually broke in the car, the damage they caused with that, say they, you know, busted a window out, you know, busted up a door or whatever, um, that would have to be fixed. That's all under comprehensive. And then the contents that's actually in the car would be under another deductible through your renters or your homeowners insurance policy and that would cover your contents. Again, just be sure that you understand that, you know, the limits of what that may or may not cover. Like if you have cash that's sitting around, there's only a certain amount of cash that each policy has. Uh, there's, you know, say you had jewelry or something like that, uh, unless you have that jewelry specifically on an itemized floater, um, that jewelry may not be covered for as much as you think that it is. It's something you really want to consider um, when you're talking about your full coverage uh, and making sure that you have all the policies that line up with things for you. Uh, otherwise, you might be stuck paying for more than you think and you think you have coverage and you really don't have that coverage. Uh, we find that there's a lot of people that will think that they have that and then they'll come to us and realize that they don't have that. Uh, and then we got to kind of give the bad news because uh, they went with a, a cheaper policy, something they found online, uh, something that nobody really gave any kind of direction. Um, let me tell you guys something. Uh, a, a insurance advisor is worth its weight in gold, especially somebody that knows what the hell that they're talking about. It's something that you really, really want to pay attention to, and you are going to get what you pay for. So it's just something to really consider, guys. If you have questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments down here below. I'll try and answer back as quickly as I can. But if not, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Peace out.